Every now and then you read something or see something in the media that reminds you of the kind of biases that define our lives and kind of really drive us all fucking crazy. That happened yesterday. David Ignatius uh, got a scoop. He's a columnist at the Washington Post. And despite being an opinion columnist, he broke some news, which was that there's the uh, likelihood possibility being negotiated of a major prisoner swap uh, between Hamas and Israel or a hostage swap. Um, and so what does that swap look like? Well, uh, they, uh, in the words of Mr. Ignatius, uh, women and children would be released by Hamas, all of them that are being held, and the Israelis would release all quote unquote women and young people being held by Israel. Um, in other words, if you're under 18 years old and you're Israeli, you're a child. If you're under 18 years old and you're Palestinian, you're a young person. In other words, you're not a child. Your humanity has been denied, or at least your vulnerability as a child. And that's really dehumanizing and disgusting and racist. Sorry, Mr. Ignatius, you're a racist. That's how that goes. Uh, but on top of that, uh, the it also revealed the fact that Israel uh, and their preventative detention policy has been completely underreported or unreported in most cases by media outlets like, oh, I don't know, the Washington Post and people like, I don't know, David Ignatius. Um, the Israelis often routinely detain, especially in times of crisis, thousands of Palestinian people, uh, often without cause at all. It might be because of their own perceived politics. It might be because they uh, are related to someone with those perceived politics. Um, in many cases, they are, they, the, in all of these cases, these are people who have committed no crime. They're not alleged to have committed a crime. They're being held extrajudicially in concentration camps or prisons under heinous and horrible conditions by the Israelis. Uh, this hasn't been covered. I mean, look, Hamas seizing 200 plus hostages uh, and taking them back to Gaza and holding them there is disgusting. It's a war crime. It's wrong. It's terrorism. Should not be countenanced uh, and should not be justified by anybody, period. And I'm saying this as someone who wholeheartedly supports the Palestinian cause. But the at the same time, uh, you can't turn a blind eye to the fact that Israel does exactly the same thing. They literally have thousands of Palestinian, well, let's call them hostages, because if it's, if it's hostages when Hamas holds them, it's hostages when the Israelis hold them, uh, especially since there's no cause for either one. This is the kind of thing that absolutely drives me nuts, and I suspect it's part of the reason that so many of us look at the news and think, man, we can't trust these people. They're just lying to us. So um, for further for further reference, uh, if you're a child in Palestine, uh, sorry, in Israel, you're a child in Palestine. Washington Post, get this right, issue a retraction, cut and cut the shit. Ted Rall, coming to you from the left.